The right. ideas are over here. Okay. Yeah. Stick it. Okay. They're, where are they? Those are blank. Those ones are blank. Oh. What'd you do with the ones? Oh, they're over here. For, where, where did that huge pile of paper come from? And you why? brought all the paper down. Hmm. I don't know why. Hmm. Why did what? Those are yours. These are mine. I don't know why you have three things that you wrote. So I tell these are those are the these are the things the for you. So I read them to you. Is that what you're saying? We don't get to see our own. Those are mine. These are the ones that I'm gonna ask you. You get yes. to see them because you already know them. Yes. Okay, but we're not holding the ones that we already have. That I'm doing. Yes, you're holding the ones that you're gonna talk to me about. And I'm holding the ones that I'm gonna talk to you about. Then we need to switch. Because you were seeing Ah, uh, yes. But I thought we would just ask each other then. And I would say, hey, now it's your turn to talk about... Yeah. Yes, that's what we're going to do it. So we need to switch again. <laughs> okay. Do you want some backup papers to make it less fun? Yeah. It's easier to hold on to. Yeah, it. I know. It was nice. I'm trying to get you like half. There Thanks. No, yeah, I appreciate that. Now we can fill... Yeah, it's equal. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Right. Nice now. <clears throat> I feel good. Anyway, hey, what's up? Hey. Uh, this is Izzy P. This is Gene. Um, we came up with an idea um, based on how well people responded to the last show that Gene put on the internet um, that uh, we're going to do a show and and we have to stick to the morals of the other show but what we what we've done is we went up and to wikipedia and clicked random twice each and clicked the random article and then we just wrote down the title of the article and maybe like a couple tiny notes about it like literally like three words about it and then we came down here uh lit it up and now we're going to talk about it anyway so this is gene hey guys I'm uh, I'm the roommate. I'm the one that originally put the show up. Um, uh, that doesn't matter. None of that matters. But thanks for all the great responses. Very cool. Uh, all right. Happy about everything. So we're gonna do this. But who gets to go first? Um. Let's let's odds let's, and evens. Odds and evens. Okay. On uh, odds and evens is a fun game. Okay, here we go. On three. Um, you choose. Okay. Evens. One, two. Ah ha. Alright, so that means I get to ask you first. Oh, is that what it is? Because I had wanted to win the opposite way. Okay, well, I you win whatever you... way you win. Okay. Um, so you want... Oh, no, I want so you to you ask do. me. I want... Do I want... Okay. Do you want to talk, or do you yes. want... Do you want to be asked? I'll ask. I mean, I'll be talked to. Okay. Alright. So the first All right. thing you're talking Let's about see. is sea monsters. Okay. Sea monsters... Not in the monster sense, mm -hmm. but in the band. Uh, I wrote down wedding present. I don't remember why. That's the name of the band. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so there's a band named Wedding Present from Leeds, England. And their name is Sea Monsters. So they're, no, they're a British the, band. No, no, the name of the band is Wedding Present. Oh. Yes. Uh, that's fine. The name of the song is Sea Monsters. Album. album is Sea Monsters, uh, yes. Uh, well, yeah, my original first thinking about that would definitely be that um, if you're going to name an album Sea Monsters, it probably means that all your songs are named like, after different kinds of sea monsters, like um, track one would be the Loch Ness, right. or uh, you know, track two would be um, whatever that um, monster from Leviathan. Yeah, uh, Leviathan. Or Cthulhu. Cthulhu. A great, a great other choice. Um, and they would be tracks dedicated to sea monsters. And I don't know what kind of band they are. I don't know if you mentioned that. But if it was any sort of harder core style, like punk or metal or hard rock or anything, you mm. could totally get away with it. It'd be a great act. Their name was Wedding Present. Yeah, that's a, that's a very uh, like nonconformist name, I feel. so. I felt like maybe it was just a regular name. Like they're just a wedding... You know, it's not that exciting, really. Well, maybe they're wedding singers. They're a wedding band. No. And um, <laughs> it's the pun that they use to get gigs. Uh, man, who knows if these guys are well-known or not. 
If you know who Wedding Present is, we're not talking very nice about him. Maybe yeah. they're good. I don't yeah. know. Ne- literally, have never heard. Yeah, I don't either. Don't know. Their Wikipedia entry wasn't very long either, so I. Yeah. I don't feel like they're really popular, and I just missed it. But I like sea monsters. I think that sea monster themed songs would be would be something I would definitely listen to if it was in the right style. Right. It had to be good writing to begin with. <laughs> like if the Decemberists did songs about sea monsters, you that know would, that, that he would, would be, weave yeah, he would would weave be, piracy yeah, tales into right. it. Yeah, well, just imagine that the Mariner's Revenge song was actually not called Mariner's Revenge. It was called like. Leviathan's Revenge yeah. or something like that. There were three mariners. Yeah, it's so... Soul survivors. Yeah. And the, 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 the guy is the whale. Would the, be the sea monster. Yeah. Oh, Moby Dick. Moby Another Dick. great sea monster. Excellent. All right. Uh, okay. Well, I think that means that I All right, so, so we have to keep moving, otherwise this will be long and we'll literally keep talking I, about shit forever. Yeah, I think that we've already gone through about half our talk time if we're going to close this on YouTube. I, I, I extended my limit from 10 minutes. I can have it as long as I want. Oh, oh that's right. Great. So Good who cares? Yeah, who cares? Yeah. Hey, man, if you're bored of watching this at any point, feel free to turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, uh, but we're just going to keep talking and maybe... Uh, if you want to make a, a reply where you hit random on Wikipedia and uh, do an answer, it'll be fun for us to watch, too, because we know how much fun this has been so far. Yeah, absolutely. The beauty is in the experience. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So what's my talk? Okay. Isaiah. <laughs> is he PM in? <laughs> my real name's Isaiah. Whatever it is. Uh... uh but keep calling me Izzy. I think it's a better name. Okay. Uh, sorry. Um, the topic is list of magazines. Game yeah, magazines. Game, mag- game, uh, game magazines. Game. <laughs> so we hit random, and Whew. it just All it right. said list of game magazines, and it included such classics as Nintendo Power, right, and uh, PlayStation so I, Magazine. So. Can you remember all the game magazines that you subscribed to at any point? Uh, I was poor. So was I. And I lived in Mexico, and mm. I never had game magazines. But I did get a Nintendo when I was six, and my next-door neighbor had Nintendo magazine. Mm. And it was awesome. Your next-door neighbor had in Mexico? And stickers in it. No. This, when I was six, I came back. Okay. And the, the year that I came back from Mexico in my first house... My parents bought me an NES system, which I had only seen a few times ever growing up. Mm. And I was intrigued. The I think the first time I saw it, I was three. Mm. And somebody was playing Super Mario Brothers, but I remember distinctly sitting on my dad's lap mm. while watching this, which means I was mm. pretty young. Yeah. Um, so anyway, they got me that, and my next-door neighbor had Nintendo Magazine, and I had... This game called Blades of Steel that he really liked. No, I like that game. It's a hockey game. And he had this game called Legend of Zelda, this gold, this gold one that mm. I really liked. And so we traded, mm. you know, because I used to do that all the time yeah. with my friends. Yeah. Trade games both temporarily and permanently because uh, it was like a currency because you never mm. had any cash right. when you were kids. You right. had this friend, like, once I traded, the best trade I ever made was I traded the game Robocop for Sky Shark. And it wasn't so much a trade as I hung out with this friend and we, we decided to temporarily trade games. But it was some kid I had met for like the first time at church and then we never saw each other again. <laughs> and I got Sky Shark, which ended up being one of my favorite games. Yeah, man. I, I remember trading games all the time. In fact, um, I think it's based on that that love of children trading games with each other that companies like uh, you know, Funko Land and GameStop even opened mm. up. It's based on that that GameStop exists early desire. From that, from that desire, but they've raped it. Yes, they really have. They've, I, worked, they've at, taken I worked at GameStop for four years. And I worked there whenever there were still Funko Lands. Uh, this was back before GameStop literally was on every corner. I, I was in the beginning of it. Um mm. And this was when we still took regular Nintendo and Genesis, and that was the funnest fucking time mm. to work there. It was so fun because I 
was already an avid collector of old school games. And uh, anyway, uh, we can't talk about it forever. But let me tell you, I have great memories of old school magazines, <laughs> which we haven't been talking about. The scratch and sniff stickers. The way that on Nintendo Power Magazine there was entire levels shown out 